for stopping by and clicking on this video. I first want to wish you a very happy 2022 and I'm doing that again because this is the first video I'm making for you guys in 2022. The other two videos which I posted earlier this year like the last two weeks were filmed before and um, this one is my first video for you my friends in the year 2022 so happy new year to you and to all of us and um yes let's um first i wanted to say i bought a lot of pink things and they are having still an awesome sale all the sale items are 25 percent off and because we are staying home so much still after two years, at least I do, I wanted something which I can wear comfortably at home, but at the same time um, also go out and get groceries done, go to the post office and, and, and. So I don't have to change clothes all the time. And um, I bought a lot of pink, like I said, a lot of outfits matching from them because over the years I realized they um, stay nice over washes and um, if you want a haul please let me know in the comment section I would love to do that because they are really nice colors which I picked up so yeah please let me do that but today we are here for a bag and that feels also a long time ago because my last video was the Cartier video which I um, made end of the year but I think I posted it in the new year and um, so I feel I haven't talked about bags in ages, so I'm so happy to be here. And um, I wanted to reveal a bag to you, which by now I've used a while also, over um, five to six months, I would say. And um, I mentioned in previous videos that I purchased Louis Vuitton bags, which I still didn't show on the channel, so here it is today. First, I'll show you which bag I was carrying since three weeks, which is unnormal for me. Usually, I'm somebody who switches bags nearly every day, especially over summertime. Now, over wintertime, I slow a little bit down, but still, three weeks in one bag is unheard of for me. So, um, I did that. So, I was in the Speedy 30 for the last three weeks since the new, new year started. And um, if you're wondering what that charm is, this charm is from Coach. I picked this up last year over the winter time. And um, if I can find something similar, I will link it below. And um, yeah, this was the bag I was carrying all the time. And it's full. I did not prep it. Today what we are going to do is we will switch from this bag to the new bag, which I carried a few times. I will insert the unboxing here, which I made in the summer. It will come here. The unboxing will run here, hopefully. And um, so this is the bag I was carrying. And now I'll show you the bag I'm revealing today for you, which one I purchased last summer. And I have to say it's an awesome carry, super comfortable. I also think I won't move out of it for a while again. And I'm talking ta ta da ta about the graceful MM. Now you will say, oh, I think you have a graceful MM on your channel. And yes, I do. Yes, I do. I love this bag so much. I love hobos in general. You guys know I picked also the Dooney um, Large Courtney Sack and Ivy. Love that bag too. There will be a comparison coming between those two. And I have this one also in the monogram with the peony interior and I'm a big fan of the shoulder straps and what we will do today um, is that we will do a back switch from the Speedy 30 into this bag and then at the end I will give you also some mod shots from how it looked in the summertime when I just got the bag 
and um, now in the winter time how it looks on me in the winter time so for me all the bags are all around I'm also I carried also for a long time when it was getting cold and I see the um, azure bags especially my galleria I was carrying a lot so let's get in, into it I'm taking you down now and we will switch from the speedy 30 into this one you guys I wanted to show you also quickly how I keep my bags when I store them I bought an organizer for the grace folds and I hate the organizer the more I'm using the Louis Vuitton bags the less I'm using organizers I also didn't use an organizer here but this bag is a mess now after three weeks so I will take everything out and transfer and organize it here and um, I, I store, but the organizer, I still didn't return it or anything. I use it for storage and I love it. So I keep the organizer inside with air paper and then I um, store my bag. And for this bag, this is my only dupe uh, Louis Vuitton item. I have the toiletry 26 too and I will link this below. This is like $30 from Amazon and I love it. I use it as a catch-all in the big um, hobo bags. And look at this, you guys. I mean, when I got this, my husband was like, why do you pay so much for the Louis Vuitton bags if you can get this for $30? And I was like, yeah. So look at that, 100% match. This is, as I said, from Amazon for $30. And it works fine as a catch-all and it has a wipeable nylon lining and organization. So I like to use this more than the organizer here. And um, what we will do, so you, usually I place this in the back and put everything in, but so you can see, how I place everything in here. Um, it has even a zipper here on the side, really, really nice. Also the zipper here is super shiny. It's not very sturdy, but I have to say I didn't have problems and I would use this in my Peony Graceful MM and in my, um, this one also. And um, yeah, let's get ahead. I have no idea what is in here. And um, let's see, so baby wipes, disinfection wipes, got a lot of CVS coupons, which I have as a New Year's resolution to keep them with me. Yesterday I bought my vitamins from CVS and I got so much discount only because I had my vouchers with me. And how can we buy all the bags and jewelry if we don't look out for good discounts? So this is my pochette, uh, pochette uh, mini pochette. I put that in here. Then I have a bag with hand sanitizer, lint roller, deodorant and extra mask. And my son had a blister, so I have a blister ointment for kids in here and some Tylenol because I got my booster shot, so I was carrying this around, so I'm still carrying this around. I bought this hair brush from Walgreens. I put this just in here and I wanted to show you quickly the bag inside. And if you want to see a more in depth, you can also click on my peony graceful which i will link below this pocket is very generous and what i usually do is i put into this side pocket here i put my emily wallet and it fits perfectly fine here and you always know um, where your money is at then i have a garage opener here which i will put at the side my agenda pm with thousand cards and i put this also in here and then i have my keys like always and these i don't have to take out of my bag at all they stay very nicely and well inside my bag so i'm putting the keys here in the side zipper pocket and then um, what else do I have here? 
Let me share everything with you. I have a little used napkin, the stuff thing, you. Um, but I never knew how these things end up in my bags, to be honest. I have a used mask. This is from me, I think. I have a few new masks, which I put here at the side. My son made a shopping list that's in my bag and then I have two more masks actually I will dismiss these two because I have no idea if they're really new or not I brought something to UPS that's here receipts and a list that I made for myself which I don't need right now anymore and because I went to um, um, Cartier and I made a list what I wanted to look at and um, then I have a hair clip here. So now this bag is empty but I'm taking off my snowflake from here and clipping it on here and it fits nicely look and now we are placing the catch all and i cannot recommend this enough this is like so nice and it honestly feels also like this canvas this feels a little thicker and rougher but this feels actually nearly the same to me so this is the catch-all which I'm just placing here in the center and remember my wallet is very easy grabs here at the side and then I'm putting my hairbrush also here to the side right here and that's how I'm going to go my way and this bag fits so much i will insert some pictures because i know when i was looking i'll take you up now i will put the summer mod shots and the mod shots now with the more wintry outfit um, towards the end but what i was going to say is that when i was looking at the graceful i was really indecisive um whether i should go for the pm or the mm until i went to the store and tried it on once i tried it on uh, with my body type the pm looked like a miniature bag for a giant on me and i will insert the pictures you can see um and uh once i tried them on in the store i um was 100% clear for me I can only take the MM if you're a petite person even if you have curves if you're a petite person um, I think Miss Tamika I will um, Miss Tamika I think got the PM size and um, she is much skinnier than me and more petite and I think the PM size looks awesome on her but on me the mm was only working so since i know a lot of people don't have so many louis vuitton options around and cannot try on i love to make this video because i find them personally for myself so helpful too if i cannot go to certain stores so you can see i will i have also pictures because when i went in march to get my first Louis Vuitton bag 2021 I tried already then the graceful on also an mm and pm and I think I made a collage of um, comparing them with the same outfit and I will insert all those things towards the end or here if I can and um, yeah and now I give you some more shots and this will be my carry for some time now So this is how this looks and I try to give you a better frame now. And this bag is so comfortable. This bag is so comfortable on the shoulder. The um, Peony monogram one with the Vachetta strap is 
extra comfortable because the strap gets really soft. I um, heard a lot of times that this one is not as comfortable, but for me, the Eben one is as comfortable. I also, before I buy the bags, you guys know, I do my homework and I watched Irene's video, I watched plenty videos and a lot of people said um, that there is heavy wrinkling under the bag. Now mind you, my bag is only six months old and I rotate bags a lot, but so far I just flipped, I just flipped the, the um, strap and there's nothing point, nothing yet and I did use the bag quite carelessly i have to say also usually i'm very careful with my bag you remember i put shower caps under my bag in the restaurant and um this one i definitely um didn't baby as much and still it looks fantastic the two the two for me the main two points i looked at was the under strap i didn't look at it much because you cannot make a pro prognosis i just hope for the best but this one is holding up pretty fine and the corners this bag is very known for corner wear um i did um, look at the delightful alternatively and the sully and the duomo because those don't have the sharp edges, but I fell in love with the graceful. I just fell in love with this bag. And um, I had to get it. When I got this, it was still as, at a very good price point for Louis Vuitton. Talking in Louis Vuitton terms, it was the um, MM was 1560 and the PM was 1390 when I got this. And now I think it increased by 150 or something like that. But still, I think this bag is um, worth it. Every single cent. It's one of my favorite bags. And... Um, if you wear your bags, it makes sense, I think. If they sit in the cupboard, it doesn't make sense. So I'm wearing them, definitely everything. And um, yeah, I hope you like this little bag reveal. It's not like the usual bag reveal where I come from the store and reveal it right away. I took my time with this one. Let me know in the comments how you like that and um you still saw the unboxing and you will see the mod shots now or you saw them in between and i will also try to put uh, my try-ons now at the end or in between so you have the whole experience you have the unboxing you have how i got it and you will ha have now kind of a little wear and tear after six months Although there is no wear and tear and I'm very happy about that. And um, stay safe, stay healthy. Now we have a lot of closures because of snow where I'm at. And um, I wanted to say drive safe. You can drive safe in the sun too. So I'll see you in my next one. And um, bye bye.